Vale. The winner will go to the final, and for the loser, it's a third place finish. This is the Australian Open Men's National Championships coming to you from West Beach in South Australia, and we're playing on Gunnerland. Hello and welcome to the live coverage. I'm James Harris, your host, and alongside me with all the Eastern special comments is the 2022 Gilly Shield National Champion Head Coach for the SA Stars, Bill Benedictson. Welcome, Bill. Thank you, James. Hello, can you hear me? Not sure. Well, no, I'm not sure. I, uh, you're sitting next to me, so that's the good thing. That uh, I can hear you, mate. This is the ACT versus Western Australia. The winner will face New South Wales in the grand final. Adam Folkard's pitching for the ACT. Josh McGovern behind the plate. He's... <laughs> Kyle Francis leading things off for Western Australia and Bill ACT finished the minor round in first place with an 8 and 2 record WA fourth with a 4-6 record yeah very good hitting side uh, a lot of long balls uh, the guys really put the ball in play uh, very tough to beat Damien McCauley is the plate umpire. We'll go around the diamond with this team of six blues that are out there today in between batters. And we'll also get through the ACT defensive lineup as well. But these two teams, Bill, played twice throughout the minor rounds. ACT winning both those games 7-0. So yeah. quite convincing. In impressive performance, yes, most definitely. Kyle Francis goes opposite field. It's going to land it, fair, and he'll get extra bases as he turns one. He stands at two. WA lead off Kyle Francis. A great shot. Yeah, I'm going to move forward. Perfect start for the WA team. Well, a good piece of hit, and he just went with the ball there. A couple strikes on him. Had a bit of a check swing strike before that. And just got good bat on ball. Wind's kind of jetting out that way today, so it's a good way to hit. Coming in from left field, cross towards right field, so balls will carry out that way. Mark Harris is the next hitter for Western Australia. Two-way player, as all three of the pitchers for WA are. Goes yeah. heavy on the first one. Yeah, he was the workhorse. We saw him a bit, didn't we? He was pitching very well against us. And uh, he has been uh, involved extensively in these games. Strike called on the inside edge. Adam Folkard, a bit of a legend of this sport. You're not going to keep a player like that down for for long. Lead off single, he'll come straight back at you. Yeah, I've heard a lot about him, and this is the first uh, tournament I've got to see him, and uh, yes, he is a formidable uh, pitcher. Very good control. Harris fouls this one off, and with that foul ball, we'll go around the ACT defense with Jay Sealer at first, Matt Harrow at second, Jared Bradbury at third, Marco Gonzalez at shortstop, Nathan Lynch in left, Matt Wickham at center field, and Ben Slater playing right field. At Marco Gonzalez at uh, shortstop there, he's been the uh, a very uh, dominant player. Uh, he's from Czech Republic, I, I think he's a... Yeah, Ma uh, Marco or Tony they call Tony him, they from, call him. From, from Mexico. And, yeah. and then the other international is Jacob Osika from Czechia. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Harris holds on a down and in. And 
Slow loads again. Up. Yeah. Keeping the ball down. Sort of up and away and down and in. Hundred and sixteen kilometer an hour curveball to strike out Mark Harris for ooh, the ooh, first out. Got the radar going again today. That's great. One hundred and sixteen. Yeah. Matthew Beckett hitting three for WA listed as the starting pitcher. Goes at the first one and. Folkard, after giving up a leadoff double, seems to have re-arrested control of this ball game. That is kind of uh, the, the top strategy against a guy like Folkard is to, to go swinging early and try and get him while he's trying to get ahead on the count and get a hold of one. That might be the tactic for Folkard, though, to attack the batter early, get ahead in the count. It looks like he's got some movement on it, too. It looks like it's tailing to the outside edge and uh, keeping it away from those big hitters. Well, that off speed was 106. Francis aboard on second base. Beckett lays off the rise ball. WA defeated Queensland 5-0 last night to advance. Convincing victory. Sets up away. Got him. Yeah, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Volcard. And Jason Garner will now come to the plate. Uh, I seem to remember the, looking at the spreadsheet of uh, uh, Jason Garner here, and he's kind of uh, uses the middle quite well. Sprays them all through. And we're between second and short. Well, he played in the over 35 Nationals in July. He won the MVP of that tournament, just crushing it. Started the week really well. He had the walk-off hit mm. against Victoria in the tiebreaker in, the, in their first game of the tournament. Just a noted hitter with power. Heavy swing and a heavy down ball from Folkard. So power versus power right here in the John Reed Shield. It's the 40th John Reed Shield. The 40th one. Okay. It's nice. Well, it's my first. <laughs> it's nice to be a part of it. Now, that's the first lefty he's faced, and Folkard's been working that, uh, that sort of tailing pitch that's going uh, outside on the right handed batters. But he, if he throws it here, it's coming in. And he looks like he's changed his strategy a little bit. Yeah, that one bounced a good two metres in front of the plate, so McGovern does well to block it. Not easy blocking a ball that's coming 115 plus. Yep. I'm sure you get a couple of bruises to show for that, do you? Yeah, mostly my hands and yeah. fingers, yeah. <laughs> High for a ball, and thank you for those watching at home. Thanks to Softball Australia for the broadcast. Hot day, Bill. It's going to get up to about 38, 39. Yeah, it is. Uh, yesterday was a hot day too, but the breeze, uh, even though it was a warm breeze, did make it uh, feel a little less, uh, a little nubber up the middle. Yeah, just jammed and a nice play at shortstop from Gonzalez and made it look casual, the Mexican. And that will retire the WA first inning. Lead off double to Kyle Francis, but wasn't advanced by the next three batters, Bill. No, yeah, strikeout, strikeout, and... Ground out. Ground out. Oh, sorry. That's... What's that? I'm giving you my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, uh, as we sit here at the moment waiting in between, uh, we've uh, got about 28 degrees at the start of the day. It's probably crept up over 30 about uh, now. We will have Matt Beckett uh, throwing uh, to Jack Burt behind the plate. Jay Rich, uh, Redkitch, I can't say that right, but is at first base. Kurt uh, Barberich is at second. Uh, Brendan Lamb is at third. Josh Cavanaugh, shortstop. And in the outfield, in left field, Mark Harris, uh, we've got uh, Ku. So in center field, Nixon, Nixon Kim, sorry, writing's bad here. And Kyle Francis in right field for Western Australia. ACT's batting lineup will be Josh McGovern, Matt Harrow, Marco Gonzalez, or Tony, Matt Wickham, Jared Bradbury, uh, Macalo, Jay Silo, Ben Slater, and Nathan Lynch. As the catcher, Josh McGovern leads off for ACT. First pitch swinging, strike one. As we said before, strong batting lineup for ACT. And lays off, Eve ups the count, 1-1. One, one. This chip to batters for uh, ACT, all power hitters, all good swings. Yeah, they, they boast uh, several Australian representatives adding their two internationals as well. Here's Josh McGovern, the leadoff, playing coach this year. Playing coach, okay. One and two the count. McGovern asking a little question about that call. Seems satisfied with the answer from Damian McCauley. Fouls off the one, two. No speed on that one, James? Nah. Couldn't get it. The pocket radar is just blocked by the, uh, what well, might be the umpire, mm. the catcher, and the batter. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get a speed on Beckett. We must, uh, we must state we're not in the Jill Williams Pavilion today. No. We've been moved to an <laughs> alternate location. In the beaming hot sun? In the, yep. Yeah. 129 kilometers an hour for Matthew Beckett to strike out Josh on, McGovern. On the outside edge. Bill, did you go around the uh, WA I, defense? I did go around the WA defense. May have uh, butchered a couple of names. Uh, <laughs> first base there, Jay... Uh, Jay Rackage. Rackage, okay. Yeah, th yeah, one of the biggest pests in the game. <laughs> and so Matt Harrow. Now, Hare is a name that's been involved in uh, men's softball for years, has it not, uh, James? Men's and women's. And women's. He's uh, a third generation Harrow. Yep. Son of Lang. Son of Lang. He goes opposite field and gets ACT's first hit. Yeah, great lineage for Matt Harrow. He was probably destined to be an Australian softballer. His uncle was the Australian captain when they won the World Championships in 2009. And of course, his grandfather, Bob Harrow, who sadly passed away over the last year or so and pioneer of yeah. men's softball in this country. Here's Tony Gonzalez batting three. And Beckett now, stays away from him on that one, the first pitch away. Well, interestingly, we will see, we potentially see a short game here with Matt Harrow, who's got speed on first, but behind the plate, probably the best arm in the country, Jack Burt. Swing and a miss, and Gonzalez looks to pull that one left side. Yeah, he's got the power that uh, he doesn't seem to worry about whether the wind's blowing in or blowing out. If he hits it hard, it is going out. 
Actually, the wind has dropped off at the moment. It's quite uh, quite calm, and it's going to be a lot hotter for the players out there at the moment. And, and Dallas pulls a curveball to the left side. Back-to-back -back hits for the ACT. The 89ers, as they're called, and you'll see on the front of their shirts. Good piece of hitting by both uh, Haro and Gonzalez. Uh, just taking one, uh, Haro taking one the other way, just over shortstop, and... Uh, and Gonzalez on that one, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to uh, lift it over the infield as well. Here's Mac Wickham. What do you think? Four. Swinging away, or I think we're going to move him over. I guess there is one out, so probably well, not. Howie, as he's known to his teammates, will has got the power in his swing. He hits four and does swing away. Wickham uh, hit, uh, I think, a home run last night. Uh, in the uh, the New South game, I want to say. He was one yep, of the, the against, hitters. Against Jack Bearsgrove. That's right. Who still managed 14 strikeouts. Jack Bearsgrove against the number one ranked team in the competition after the minor round. Uh, that's telling, isn't it? And interesting, the results between New South Wales and ACT uh, were both in favour of the ACT by a margin of two runs, 9-7 and 4-2. New South Wales won 8-3 last night. Mm. So for a ball, it gets away from Burt, but the reputation on that young man's <laughs> arm, the runners don't get too far off the base. I was going to say, it looked like a lot of respect there. And no. I mentioned that ACT had beaten WA 7-0 in both games, but... The New South Wales ACT results were uh, split. New South Wales 9-1 and, and WA upset New South Wales 4-3. And that would have put New, uh, Western Australia into the top four with that win, that upset win. Swing, a miss. It's off the boot of Burt. The runners will advance and he chases the ball back into the diamond. Wow. He went a long way to stay with that ball after it uh, spun off him and... Two two count. Hey, Wickham's looking to just drive one through here. Wickham set. Strikeout swinging. Nice pitching from Matt Beckett to come back with a strikeout after back to back hits. That was a good piece of uh, pitch. He could have, uh, you know. Pitched him a little bit more carefully at base open, but he decided to go right back after him and uh, good pitch. Jared Bradbury to the plate now for the ACT. There's two out, there's two on. They're both in scoring position. Who's downstairs to start against Bradbury? A watchful Bradbury. Big swing there on a 126. 126 Ks hey. from Beckett. He's really cranked it up. Good confident pitcher. These two pitcher and batter were teammates in American Samoa when Australia won oh, yes. that tournament to qualify for the, this year's World Cup. Low gets, gets away. away. Bird again, and Harrow's going to score the first run. So a couple don't, wild pitches yeah. kind of factor in there, yeah. yeah. Don't have the advantage of the replay screen in front of us, but we do know that the broadcast has the replay, so you can call it as you see it. Okay. Ours is on slight delay. Using the phone? <laughs> yes, yes. I was just going to say, because uh, what I'm seeing replay is uh, the first wild pitch there, isn't it? Or is Bradbury that will foul this one score? off. Well, I think we, we won't use the, the phone. We'll just sort of anticipate when that replay would be happening. And uh, 
and try call it as we see it. Call it as we see it. That's right. Bradbury hits it towards the middle. Barberich edges it off the glove and deflection out to centre field. Second run of the ball game as Gonzalez crosses the plate. Well, that's a good piece of hitting there. Just chopped it up the middle. Good effort by second base coming across there, uh, Barberich. But uh, as I said, just glancing off the glove. Even if he comes up with that one, he's going to have to find it and throw in a heartbeat back across his body. And Bradbury was running pretty hard down the line from what I saw there, so. Here's McLean Lowe for the ACT. A New South Wales native has played three national championships for South Australia, and this year he's wearing the blue and yellow for the ACT. Yes, His yes. Little brother, uh, little brother Macca, yes, of uh, Boston. Yeah, his little, little brother Boston played for South Australia in the tournament, hit a few home runs for he, us. He did good, yeah, absolutely. It was a pleasure to have him part of the squad. And their dad uh, is uh, coaching New South Wales, he correct? He's the coach of New South Wales. Family affair, but spread over three states. All right, official on Jared Bradbury. It was a hit up the middle, so credit and RBI to Bradbury. McLean, low. Pulls this one foul. Just foul, yeah. That's Mark Harris out at left field. We may see him pitch throughout the game. They've got three Jets, don't they? WA with Tyson Duncan, the lefty, as uh, an option, warming up in the ballpen. Yeah. We saw Duncan uh, a couple of our games, and yes, a uh, powerful pitcher. Harris, you're yeah. right, a uh, very good pitcher. He the, was the most least efficient pitching action you'll see on a on a softball diamond, Mark Harris. But geez, he throws it hard. Low drills it out to Harris, who's playing left field, and that's the fourth hit of the first inning for the ACT. Well, a bit more of the same. Another uh, single, just over shortstop uh, in the left field. Aside from that hit up the middle by Bradbury, that's been uh, three singles uh, to the left field side. Yeah, one of them from a left-handed batter. But the three right is pulling it hard. Jay Silu's gonna come to the plate. Jack Burt just has a word to his pitcher as, well, it's the plate umpire McCauley going to get another ball, I think. Or even a drink, it's a hot it morning. It is hot day, yeah. Not quite Maple Ridge weather. <laughs> I'll give you the update on that a little bit later on, but uh, yeah, yeah, not quite. We will have days like this, but it, it wouldn't be today. So ACT is showing they can do it with, uh, oh. Another one in the dirt. That one That's reflects off, off the ground, off the catcher's pads, and then over, over the, the net. back net. I've never seen never that Never seen that before. Not here. Might but, see it on the Eastern replay. And thanks to Easton as well, been a great partner of softball in Australia and softball South Australia for many, many years. And if you want the best gear on the diamond, log on to easton-australia.com. Yeah, it was kind of a short hopper in the dirt and it rolled up off the pad, knee pad, and just went straight up and over the, uh, the dugout, uh, sorry, the backstop. That backstop's gotta be about a, a 10 meter high backstop. Something you might see on maybe a temporary, uh, you know, net behind that field, but mm. uh, that yeah, was quite a big back net here. Quite the kick. So two runners in scoring position now for C-Loop. And ACT looking to add on. C-Loop leaves that one upstairs, so he showed bunt. The ball deflected out of the ballpark. So I was busy He's watching that ball one. in the dirt when he showed bunt, but where the runner's going, I, I don't know if they're actually going on that play or maybe bluffed. Like was it, a, it could have been a fake to allow the steal. Change of pace from Beckett doesn't catch Silu swinging. It's now 3-1, good hitters count for Silu and Lindy Radigan, if you're watching. I could use one of your pens. Mine seems like it's not working. Uh, you take mine back. No, no, you that is mine, Bill, okay. but uh, it's okay. You keep using it. Bit of a jam here for uh, ground ball. Second base, easy throw. I say Beckett uh, gets out of a jam there. Yeah, Barberich 
Stays low on that ball. Very important here in the West Beach Diamond to make sure there's no gap between the glove and the ground because, uh, you know, a few times out of ten, it's going to die yeah, on you. It dies. There. You get that little skip. And it doesn't top like you expect. That's right. Those are the ones that kill you, too, that get under the glove. Two big runs for the ACT in the bottom of the first inning. We'll go seven if you're watching for the first time and if it's tied after seven into extra innings. But at the moment, ACT with a bit of a commanding lead, two runs in the first inning. They will look to build on this as we continue throughout the game. New South Wales await the winner of this one. 1 p.m. local time for the grand final. And the man in the middle for the ACT, Adam Folkard, has been there and he's done it all for Australia. A no-hit shutout in the 2009 World Championship game. He's a two-time world champion. He's an ISC legend throughout North America. He's won a European Super Cup with the mighty DVH. I'm still fame. Oh, OK. Just trying to remember the other Aussie that played in that team. Oh, that's me, Bill. Uh, <laughs> I was Keefe played I was for us just, the year before that as well. Just about to ask how you have such good memory of all mm. these stats and situation. <laughs> it helps when you were there. Um, <laughs> uh, foul, foul ball running bunt there uh, in the box. Yeah, batter in the Jack, box. Jack Burt attempts the running bunt and yeah. just asked him the question, but definitely still in the box as, yeah. as it collects him on the leg. You see Bradbury's asking there, but uh, Jack Burt, uh, not, not a traditional running bunt. He's pretty deep in the box to begin with, so really no chance to get out of the box for that one to be hit and called that way. That one's down for a ball. Burt hit a towering shot against the SA team yesterday. You know, 4-3 uh, game? 3-2. Three, uh, yeah, 3-2 three, ball game. Yep. That was the one out past the scoreboard, past that fence, past the fence behind it in the snake swamp out there somewhere. Yep. I might go look for that ball later today if I get nothing to do, but uh, I think it's still lost. Cold strike and... Folkard gets ahead of the count. Yeah, the WA batters, good batting side, but man, they get their uh, work cut out for them to get uh, some good contact against Folkard here, don't they? Yeah, he's so good. He can hit any spot. Yep. Normally pain in the corners, but Bert's done well to get to a full count. And with these right-handed batters, the pattern I'm seeing, he's going to that out and away. Uh, only uh, only Francis was able to to drive that one or slap that one to the right side for that double, that leadoff double. Yeah, it was good contact, went deep and really rode the line. Bert, though, opposite tactics, trying to pull, pull the ball, the ball up. Yeah. So a bit of change of speed, full count. Strike out nice pitch. Yeah, very good pitch from Folkard. Burt can't do much except walk back to the dugout. Yeah. Josh Kavanagh is going to come up now for Western Australia, playing shortstop today. Third strikeout for Folkard. That one there almost looked like Burt was expecting the pitch off the plate and uh, I'm not going to chase. And Folkard came back with one pretty much on the outside edge, belt high. Kavanaugh wearing lucky number 13. Shows bunt, pulls back, but straight called. Fouls that one back over the first base dugout. Good piece of contact hitting, trying to stay alive there. Yeah, it gets ahead of the count with that pitch, Folkard, one and two. Yeah, 
held that swing. Yeah, down and in. It's it's not a bad pitch to come back with after setting one up on the outside edge. Yeah, and wouldn't be surprised he goes away again. Actually, you see uh, Kavanaugh here is going through a bit of a two-strike adjustment. He's coming in. He's getting set. And they came inside again. Got him swinging. Another strikeout. Yeah, Jay Rakic, the new hitter, and he's got to face a red-hot Folkart who's, since the leadoff double, mm. has struck out four of the next five. Mm. <laughs> 134. Surely not. <laughs> that, that's 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 what we had the pitching machine cranked up in the ITF the other day at 134. Well, it's hurt it, it's the catcher. A, yeah, got foul tip. Got looks like top of the thigh maybe. Eh? One of those, James, that fell straight down the top yeah. of your thigh. Hurts for a bit. Share a bit of a laugh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, you see that. McGovern has the one knee up, one knee down on some of those pitches and, and that's just the exposes that's... the thigh area. Yeah. Now, I'll just clarify on the pocket radar that we're using. It did say 134. I got you to read it, it out. It did say 134. <laughs> but uh, it, we'll keep an eye on this. Yeah. We'll have to say, we have to, as a disclaimer, say we're at a, a bit of an awkward angle. Whereas that one 11. shows 111. And, so. it, and if the bat <laughs> swings in there, I don't know if that would uh, affect it. It's possible. But uh, still, he's thrown some gas. We've seen a few up there around the one, uh, 110, 120 mark. And, and just as he throws a hard down ball, I put the pocket radar away. Um, we might revisit the speeds a little later, but yeah. Rakic is still one and two behind Rakic. the count. Yeah, one and two. Nice change of pace. Up. And majority of the ACT defense were two thirds of the way back to the dugout. <laughs> they all liked it. Came through a little high in the zone. Played umpire Damien McCauley is a veteran umpire, is toured extensively. Level eight. That one On is the inside a, a strikeout. So strikes out the side. Fifth strikeout in two innings. So Adam Folkart rolling here. It's going to be in tough, the preliminary. Tough final. to beat. Tough to beat when he's throwing like that. So if that speed uh, is right and if his control is like it is and he's getting the calls that he wants, uh, WA is going to have to uh, turn it up a notch to uh, come back in this game. Well, what? if you're interested in playing this magnificent sport, Bill, you need no go further than the Home Run Heroes website, homerunheroes.com.au for entry-level programs and, you know, bring the kids out for a bit of fun and, and get them to fall in love with this sport that we both love and, oh. and no doubt every player on this diamond does as well. A great uh, nationwide program, isn't it, uh, James? Yeah. Every, every state. Has Every some. state yep. in Australia has our Home Run Heroes program. and the Softball Australia initiative. 40th John Reed Shield preliminary final between the Australian Capital Territory and Western Australia. These two teams have probably won the majority of those titles as well. WA and ACT in the early days and and of late, perhaps even over the last 20 years, I'd say ACT have at least 13 or 14. I'd stop counting after you a stop while. Counting, it gets, yeah. <laughs> it gets, gets. doesn't get boring, but, you know, it's uh, uh, New South Wales and ACT are the only two that have won one over the last decade, and it was WA, the only the team that won it about 10 years ago now. So okay. Spence Slater bunts it straight up, and Jay Rakic will take a catch in foul territory for the first out so good efficient work from the WA defense they want to get back into bat as soon as possible because they are chasing two at the moment mm. here's Nathan Lynch has done a bit of leadoff work so far this tournament but hitting nine today yeah, 
first oh. pitch for a strike cool there. Strike. Yeah, so WA have pitched by committee throughout this entire competition, uh, maybe without one or two uh, of those games where last night Mark Harris threw six of the seven and Beckett close. This one's popped up and it's going to land in the gap. A blooper for Lynch. So the ball falling for the ACT at the moment. Well, that is their spot. That's the uh, third, fourth hit to uh, just over the shortstop into the left field section there. Um, obviously, they, they had a memo beforehand, and that's the spot. You know how sometimes uh, you tell your team, you know, we want to hit everything to right field, left field, center field, whatever it is. They seem to be following that to a T. I just think it's only a matter of time before we see the uh, the big ball here, the long ball by uh, some of these powerful hitters. Uh, I got my money on Gonzalez to go deep. Well, the last World Cup final that Australia did win uh, back in 2022. Yeah. Yeah, 2022. Josh McGovern hit the second biggest home run I've ever seen on that ballpark. Uh, gets away uh, in from... New Zealand, uh, it was an absolute moonshot. So yeah. he's got the capability of hitting a long ball. The fences here are 230. Yep. As uh, Lynch just moves up to second base on that ball, that squirts away from Burt. Down for a ball and... It's, it's got to be a strategy by back in here to keep that ball low, to stop these guys from, uh, you know, sending those moon shots, as you speak. Yeah. And it's working, but the ACT is just finding a way to, uh, to get the, the runners on base. Good running from Lynch and Burt doesn't even get a throw away, so that's been a bit of an issue for the WA battery so far in, early in this game. Low balls getting away from the catcher and Lynch over to third. So, you know, those down balls are a, a good tactic to ensure that that runner in scoring position doesn't score, but now on yeah. third. Yeah, that is the trade off, is it? You really, uh, you got to have your catcher suck those up and, uh, and keep them in front. And, and Bert's doing a great job, as you say, but they just seem to be hitting the hard parts of the, uh, the equipment and squirting away from them. So, a 1 3 split with. Uh, one out. That brings Harrow up. And with one out, they're actually going to they're actually going to go with a pinch runner for McGovern, who's the catcher. Yeah. Now this is obviously to be quite aggressive, knowing that they could have got a free runner, a courtesy runner with two out. They're going with McCaskey, yeah. who's the playing physio for the team. <laughs> He's the team physio okay. that kits up every year. He's had a couple of at-bats. I saw him at the coffee van earlier. <laughs> and I never thought I'd hear myself or yourself say in the commentary, pinch running now, the team physio <laughs> for ACT. It's, it's not unlike the old water boy. Uh, was there, right? That's right, bringing in the water boy. Except that Dave McCaskey's uh, been to a junior world championship, so uh, okay. can play. Now, Dave McCaskey wearing uh, uniform number zero. That's uh, quite unusual. Yeah. Harrow. First pitch swinging. It's deep out to left field. Ooh. Harris gets under it and gives up that run. McCaskey First pitch doesn't swing. move. Didn't give him a chance to seal. But they got the run. Well, that is the third run of the game. So plenty happening there because we've got our eye on the physio. We've got our eye on the batter and, <laughs> and the run Lynch scored. So, well, here's Gonzalez. And again, he's my prediction for the first long ball of the game. Now, I saw some pictures after uh, last night's uh, or our game against ACT and Gonzalez, after a long ball, looked like he had some sort of wrestler mask underneath that helmet, or he puts it on when he crosses the plate. That's the team one. The the team. It is a, the team. Yeah, uh, so home run mask. They've got their home run mask. What are they? Uh, what is that called? A, a, a it looks like a wrestler wrestler a, mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the actual term is, but it looks like you know the. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, yeah. The, the, the Masked the Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, Mex Mexican, Mexican wrestling, Mexican right? wrestling yeah. use them quite often, yes. Go Kasky goes on the pitch. It's a strikeout yeah. swinging, and Jack Burt really <laughs> wanted to pull the trigger. He did, didn't he? You can see that the catcher in the <laughs> WASA game yesterday threw out the SA catcher threw out the WA runner and, and he missed out on his time in the sun. So Jack yes. looking to throw out a runner. But yeah, that was a good uh, all to no avail because that. Gonzalez goes down swinging, swinging for the third out. ACT score another run in this ball game to go out to a 3 nil lead after two inning. And it's a long way back from for WA, you would say, with yeah. Volkart pitching so well. and Well, that is the thing. He is pitching so well. And they've either got to... Uh, Pick the right pitch or uh, adapt. Um, as I said, uh, or I said last time, um, that strikeout um, looking, it looked like he was expecting that pitch to be up off the plate as he's been throwing, and he came back with a, you know, a slotted one on the outside edge. So, uh, yeah, they got to get in their uh, their head around getting some uh, hits here. Well, you can't count them out. Just yet, WA, they have not scored against ACT so far in this tournament. We mentioned earlier, Bill, that in the two minor round games, ACT won 7-0 in both their games. But, you know, plenty to play for in this game in a preliminary final. What do you got for us? I was just going to say uh, temperatures just rise up to about 37, almost 35 degrees at the moment currently here at West Beach. It does have a bit of a breeze. It's uh, making it feel more like 30 coming in. Now it's switching. The start of the game was kind of on the cross from left to right. Now it's going from right to left. Brennan and Lamb hits eight for the WA team. The blaze, as it's written on their shirt. You know, it's hot. WA wears their, those black uniforms, and it's almost as if to say the heat doesn't bother us. We're going to wear the hottest heat-absorbing <laughs> uniform just to show you that we're tough in WA. Obviously, no stranger to hot games over there. Who lays off that one up and out of the zone. Yeah, Brendan Lamb making a comeback to open representation. He was a, a, a boy wonder as a kid, went to a junior worlds and tore the world apart in softball and a bit of time away from the sport and strikes out swinging on this occasion. But great fella, part of the uh, Bedford softball family as well, the uh, over in WA. Sure, they'll all be watching. I reckon there's at least five in the WA lineup today from, from the Bedford Boyos. Okay. That was Falkart's sixth strikeout. Oh, no. Yep, he's picked up right where he left off. And uh, tail end of the order here, they're going to be uh, be trying their best to make contact. But, uh, yeah, he is tearing it up. First pitch strike, swinging. Barberich fouls this one off. Did well to get a piece of that, but that, that's that out pitch of his, isn't it? That up and out of the zone. Uh, you start swinging at that one. He's got so many pitches in his repertoire. Down ball. Polkart as he strikes out another. Three so eight pitches. The first time through the lineup, seven strikeouts. That's impressive. So only that leadoff double in the uh, the six three ground out, right? By Gardner. Yep. Yep. In the top four, both in the first inning, and here is Kyle Francis, the only player to, to get a hit. And Adam wants a chat. Our man chops. Jared Farrell is uh, good friends with Adam, and he says that Adam's got the longest fingers that you'll ever see on a man. And the which fingers largest? Yeah. yeah. And. That's why he can do wonders with the softball. He's, he's got one that can cut in. He's got the curve out. He's got the dipper that's off the table. He's got the rise ball. Mm. He's got the low lifter. Pioneered that. The low lifter. With uh, the Australian team in 2009. It froze the New Zealand hitters on his way to a no-hit final in 2009. 
Mike Harrow captained the team that year and yeah. called a beauty of a game. The folk coach has been around for a while. At, uh, he'd show all he'd be, James. Uh, scarily, for those that are playing in Masters competition, he's age eligible to uh, <laughs> to play against us on he the is. Masters circuit. Okay. So uh, That would be <laughs> unfair. <laughs> yep. Well, he was 22 in 2009, so add 15 years onto that. Ground ball. Kyle Francis has a chance, but Jeremy Bradbury was deep. He comes in charging and throws him out in time. Well, good play. just got to get the ball into play, right? Get Something the ball into happen. play. It actually almost caused confusion. Falco came in to uh, field that play and then uh, wisely left it, but this, the kick on the ball took it to the outside of... Uh, of Bradbury there, but he made a really good throw across his body on the run. Got him by a step. Third shutout inning for Adam Falkart. He's faced 10 batters. He's got seven strikeouts, giving up the one hit. Well, we can mention the third team out in the diamond today. The team in blue, Damien McCauley, is the played umpire, a level eight, a softball SA Hall of Famer, and Alan Walsh over at first, Robert McIntosh, at uh, second base, Debbie Grove is out there as well at third. And there's two outfield umpires, Nicky Wong and Kevin Tannerbring. And the local umpires have helped out a little bit as the uh, national umpires have uh, suffered from the heat a little bit. <laughs> and it's been a hot week. It has been a hot week. Uh, I know... Uh, it's, been the, it's been the hottest week of the year so far, right? In uh, Adelaide. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Okay. Oh yes, yeah, because it's been up around that uh, 38 mark. And we've had we've had probably about four weeks straight now with no rain, uh, mm. quite warm each day, but but not this kind of searing heat where local uh, competition games were cancelled or postponed. And then uh, um, I'm not sure if we're allowed to promote the uh, softball, let's say Premier League. That uh, oh, I'm just saying local. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that airs Wednesday nights and Saturday <laughs> afternoons during the season and. Yeah. Big preliminary final oh, for my last minor round game this Wednesday. This Wednesday, yeah. yeah. This Wednesday You're probably right. We're finals. probably not allowed to uh, speak about that as uh, Sturt plays uh, Port Adelaide and uh, West, 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 West Walkerville West Orange. That's right. Still potential for some movement on that ladder too, I think. Just like the movement of that rise ball from uh, <laughs> Beckett. <laughs> Just like Wickham. that movement. Yep. Lateral movement. Working its way up. Or well, WA sticking with Matt Beckett. And he's given up three runs in his first two innings. Beckett ahead. One and two to Wickham. Wickham uh, strikeout victim last time. Dead ball comes inside the on him again. Yeah, fouled it off. Wickham a strikeout victim. Yep. Although giving up three runs, Beck Beckett still has three strikeouts. And they are against the top four hitters as well in the lineup. So yep. if you're going to strike players out, they're the ones, right? If you want to get them, yeah. But we are in that danger part of the order uh, from the first inning where uh, the base hits come into play. And uh, that is hit number six, Bill. Hit number six. Jared Bradbury, who has an RBI single. Yeah. It went up the middle, deflected off the glove of the second base player. Yep. Run scored and deflected out to Alpha. You've got a single to center field. Uh, well, I do have a single to center field, but you're right. It was up the middle and ended up in center, but you're, you're probably right. It's hard to call that one for. I'll, I'll change mine to, right, to right center up, field as well. Right up the middle. <laughs> I mean, we can agree that uh, a popped up bunt attempt off the dugout. We can agree that that uh, glove to it by Barbarich uh, would have been taking away a hit right up the middle there, so. Yeah, ACT not looking to put take their foot off the accelerator yep. either as Bradbury shows bunt. Yeah, Bradbury hit last time, but then uh, Makalo and uh, uh, he came up with a hit to uh, the left field last time, so. Safe bet if they can move him in the scoring position and let the next guys try and drive him in. 
low for a ball and a nice take. Looked like a bit Bert. of a show and uh, possibly going to slap on that one. Yeah. Well, if you have a look at the WA defence, they are set up for second base to cover two. Yep. And they are set up kind of closer to double play uh, depth as well. They're, they're cheating the middle of touch, shortstop and second. But yes, I see what well, you're saying. Well, the perfect bunt's going to go straight to right field, right? Yeah. Yep. Third base comes down. So yeah, first stand back. Good attacking bunt defense, Bill. Yeah, it is. I'm trying good. to give you a little bit of a Well, it is a good attack. Well, I know you are, but I, I, think, <laughs> I still think Bradbury with that split grip looks like he's trying to push it towards yeah. uh, second base, first base side. And uh, perhaps just got to get in front of the speed, but hits away now. And a nice shot past the glove of Kavanaugh. And that's his second hit of the ball game. And Wickham advances to two. Kavanaugh looked like uh, he might have just taken a little stutter step to the middle. And uh, because his body balance looked like it was off and he was diving back instead of running into that dive, uh, it may have caught him just a little flat footed. Uh, was the runner going on that play or he just fall through? Like uh, there is that tendency with a runner on one that's fast to, as the ball's in that zone to just flinch towards second because you know you got to cover that throw. Yeah, hard to pick up on the replay. Yeah. And Low. short bunt again. Yep. Ripped one to the left side. And this time both corners coming in aggressively. Shortstop covering third. Uh, I would say it's a bit more of your traditional bunt defense here with both corners looking to come in and field this. Second base is deep, so it is leaving first base open a little bit. A little bit. But he goes yeah. up the middle and it's his second hit of the ball game as well. Matt Wickham turns one and unopposed will cross the plate for the fourth run. Beautiful RBI How single. How much longer can they go, Bill? Well, I think uh, they'd be looking to make a change soon, wouldn't they? Yep. yep. Uh, well, just as we say that, the WA have... call time out <laughs> and out comes the lefty, Tyson Duncan, who will replace Matthew Beckett. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this defense because Beckett's been swinging a hot stick. They're all still out there yeah, having a bit of a chat. Have they got, uh, nobody's been throwing in the bullpen. I haven't seen them. Duncan, Duncan was throwing I've got an obstructed view here for those uh, <laughs> listeners at home. The uh, the back of the soundboard is up right in front of me here, so I can only see from second base to left field. Well, three hits to start <laughs> off this bottom half, the home half of the third inning for ACT, who are now up to seven hits in the ball game. Of those hitters, Bradbury with two, Lowe with two, and then the other three hits are scattered, Harrow, Gonzalez, yeah. and Lynch. All singles, singles to left uh, left side. Short, uh, second base, or sorry, uh, center field to left side is basically where. Well, no everybody. pitching change. No. Beckett remains, maybe just got a towel to dry his hands. Yeah. Maybe a discussion in, with the defense to talk about a plan, and this one's in the dirt. Once again, uh, a pass ball while pitch gets away, and uh, they get to move up again. And, and that's that's been the story too, hasn't it? Base hitting and uh, wild pitches or pass balls. I don't want to lay blame there on either. No, it's tough conditions as yeah. well. He, uh, looking down the right field line, Duncan is going back to the bullpen. Yeah. Uh, you would have to think that Western Australia is going to have to throw somebody else here soon. It's just uh, they got to try something. Down and in. So they continue to try down and in. And We've it, seen at least four uh, get away from the I feel the for Beckett because, like as we said, that's probably the best strategy. Let's keep the ball down and make them you know, stay in the yard. And, and they've, he's done that. Uh, but ACT's adapted and hit the singles. And then the down balls that uh, are over extreme are, have been getting away and... and they get to move up. Nice take from Rackett to... Wow. We see Bradbury take off on the hit and will score, but it was an absolute screamer to Rackett, and he takes it up high. Didn't know he had that type of athletic ability. Hard chopper off the infield, one hop, and yeah, got up there. Considered the play at he first. Did, he did come up to, to come up and throw. At home, yeah, yeah. And then... 
but you, uh, the runner at three took off right away. So they got one down, but the run scores there. Oh and, no, that one's. And we got another one. As Macalo comes across. A third run all the inning in. I think you could uh, just sort of see the the energy levels uh, drain a bit from uh, poor um, uh, Jack Burt here behind the plate as he knew that one was going to be another run. Foul from Slater. We did see Burt come out of the game yesterday against South Australia. South Australia uh, with a big win. They're only their second win of the tournament. Second uh, win. Three finished, to two over WA. But finishing uh, Burt, on a high. Yeah, Burt started as catcher and, and he had to come out because he, uh, he hurt his hand on an inside pitch. So that might be affecting him today. It could be. Bit of a, uh, a milestone game yesterday, that South Australia WA game. The retiring uh, player from the South Australia. Yeah, Dan team. Peterson retired. Yeah, Dan, I know it's. Uh, Don it's Peters retired. Going to be coach. sad to see him go. And yep. Some other guy I thought. Uh, <laughs> try and bring it back around to you, James. You know how it is. I, I like to talk about myself too, but <laughs> I will also talk about you and uh, your last game. And uh, look, uh, fantastic last day as uh, Slater strikes out there. Uh, for you to get yourself your uh, uh, South Australia leading all-time home run in the first game. Yep. To go one back up on Jared Farrell. Yep. And to play in a winning uh, cause, catching behind the plate with family and friends here. <laughs> Very special. Thanks, Bill. 3-2 win. Yeah, it, it, it helps when you've had twice as many uh, plate appearances as Jared Farrell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, he's, he's determined. He's told me that he wants that record. So, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I'm sure we'll we might have to come, you know, yeah. come back around eh, for another season. Another campaign. This could be a uh, drastically redeveloped uh, South Australian team next year. Some young guys coming through. Well, hopefully. eight first-year players this year. Yeah. Good signs. Big, big learning curve for them, as uh, Don Peters pointed out. Uh, Lynch drills this to the left side. Another hit for ACT. We're up to eight hits in the ball game. Yeah. <sighs> it is six to nil, six nil in the third. And it's now the third time through the lineup as ACT bring up their leadoff hitter. Well... I'm just uh, looking for any movement from the bullpen and whether or not they're going to bring him in. And he looks ready down there. Uh, Only the third inning. It's McGovern's third plate appearance. He has a strikeout and a walk. Yep. Leaves that one down and away. Lynch, the runner on first with two out. Four hits in this inning. Four hits and three runs, yeah. Up and away. Very close stance, hasn't he, Josh McGovern? The back foot is pretty deep in the box, but that front foot is, yeah. sits about regulation in the middle of the zone, but it's, it's closed over. Just calling timeout, running yeah. repairs, and... It's like he's just trying to uh, keep himself from opening up, I guess, on that swing. It looks like he's des designing that swing to go to right field, but... Uh, uh, You've got to give him credit. It. He's just performed one of the toughest acts in softball to tie his shoelaces with batting gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> he can do it all. He can do it all. He can do it all. That, that's a big maneuver. That's, yep. Liked it. Pulled hard and just misses. Goes foul. ACT in their 10 games averaged five and a half runs for and two and a half runs against. Mm. Yeah. Only team better was New South Wales, 6.6 .6 runs for and 2.7 runs against. Might have been inflated by our game. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Actually, both those teams uh, took the heavy stick to SA throughout the tournament. We're talking about SA a lot. We're, yes. we're, we're in the home state. Well, well, we might as well. I mean, we have some inside knowledge on that too. And Correct. Uh, I would assume out of our 232 uh, viewers, 
uh, half. McGovern hits this one hard to left field and Harris will field it. Ninth hit of the game for ACT. Two out, we'll see a catcher speed up in WA for the second time called timeout and they're going to have a chat. I, I think they're going to make a change here, James. I think they have to at this point. ACT just putting uh, bat on ball and, uh, and and look, it's a, a clean uh, clinic on hitting here. Just uh, not the home runs I was uh, expecting, not the long ball. All right, we can see the changes from here. We don't have to wait for the official okay. statisticians. Nixon Kim's going to come out of the game from center field. Matt Beckett's going to go from pitcher out to the outfield. So okay. he's also the flex player, Nixon Kim. So. Yeah. That he'll come out of the game and replaced by Tyson Duncan. So Duncan will take the flex position. Beckett remains in the hitting lineup and goes to centre field. And, right. and, well, the mail on Duncan is that he has played for the Aussie Steelers. He's played in the Czech Republic for many years in, in Europe for the Hippos. And the Hippos. Spent a bit of time in the States as well. Recently engaged in his personal life away from the diamond and one of the good characters of the game. Terrible mustache, but <laughs> great fella. Yeah, he's a workhorse. He, uh, the, you know, he just uh, keeps rearing back and throwing. He pitched well against us. Uh, he came in against that, uh, the last game we played there just to try and uh, keep it close. But uh, Boston Lowe got the better of him. Boston Lowe did then Luke uh, Moyle. came back out and Luke Moyle with a classic uh, single to right to drive in that winning run. Well, we're through the well, five warm-up pitches. Matt Harrow bats two for the ACT. There is two out. It's been a long inning. This is the eighth batter of the inning. Thank you for the changes from the officials, and we got that right. You got it. 28 yes. in, eight out, eight to one. One to eight for those scoring at home. And Harrow had a sack fly last time up uh, and a single to left field. Curveball. Curve yeah, good pick. Yep. Duncan straight in there for a called strike and something different as well, seeing it from the left side. Mm. Might suit a guy like Harrow who, who took the ball the other way. And that went up and the runners advance on a ball to the back net in this Thought maybe six got nil ball that. game. Yeah. Okay. It was a check swing. He held his hands back, Harrow, and yep. one one count. the back net but Lynch at third thinks better of it that one was high that one missed everything even uh, a lengthy uh, catcher like Jack Burt couldn't get a hand on that one well, we'll see if we can uh, get a gun on uh, on Duncan and see how hard he's throwing comparatively to uh, full card and Beckham Fouls that one off. That was a 108 curveball. Okay. And that was that curveball again, slicing away from Harrow, and he went with it. 2-2 Two -two count. ACT looking to uh, tack on and extend this game or this inning and get some more runs. WA wants to shut it down right here with two out. As uh, Duncan just steps off for a moment. Yep, the pesky runner at second, relaying the signals. and uh, Down, he gets away, and no play at the plate. And that might be the third uh, third run on wild pitch. Yeah, and uh, the, they've obviously come in with a plan here, WA, to keep the ball down and, and low, yeah. but hasn't been executed in, this, in these hot conditions. And uh, Bert, maybe favoring his, his glove yes. hand is, hasn't been able to get behind the ball and, and stop them. 
Hey, that's probably a good uh, insight there, James. I, I, I did not quite recall. I was uh, I was in the moment yesterday of our uh, our game and just trying to keep it uh, together, get that win. I didn't actually notice him come out. I've caught a few games before and nothing worse than trying to catch a ball with an injured hand. And as the score is now 7-0, Slater decides not to no. score on that one. Harrow up to first for a base on balls and we're up to the ninth batter of the inning. Yeah. Now Slater, Slater's running for McGovern at the moment there. Is correct? Yes. Yeah. He did look like he was going to go for a moment. But he must have got a good kick back off the, uh, the fence here. And we got Gonzalez up. Hit a big home run against us, Bill. And uh, yeah. it was a no-doubter off the it bat. It was a no-doubter. Again, I, the first at bat I saw him was uh, probably day four, three or four here on Diamond One. And I was just walking by and saw this ball go into the blue, the blue sky, and it looked like it was up there forever. And uh, I think it landed beyond that, uh, that dog kennel yard, the building out there, yeah, over that tree. Yeah, German Shepherd Dog Club yep. at centre left field here yeah. in to give, uh, uh, West Beach. To give uh, viewers a, a reference, if they do see a wide shot, the light tower's out there and the light's in the outfield in, in left and in right. As he pops one up down the first base side, and no one's going to get to that, but a valiant effort by uh, Rakich down there. Uh, that ball was leaving the yard at the light standard tower height. Well, I can tell you they're at 30 meters height as well, those so light towers. So the he's ball is going out <laughs> to 30 and is already 30 meters above that point and not coming down yet. If we do the math on that, it's probably about a 400 footer. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to pace out the back of the uh, the uh, dog shepherd yard there. That's a great comeback pitch from Duncan to hit the outside edge. The back door yeah. curve is a bit of a weapon. Tony Gonzalez made the trip to Australia to play in this national championship for the ACT. And on Ooh. the change up, he just lays up. Watches that. it low. Very did selective. Fall, did fall victim to the best change up change in the up. country uh, oh, from uh, Harry May. Harry May currently, yes, claiming the best change up in the country, and that one's hit hard. Off the glove, off the fence. Harris is obviously hurt because he couldn't get up. And Gonzalez is rounding third, and a bit of a wayward throw. Well, lots to unpack here, Bill, as that one was hit hard, as you mentioned. Yeah. Harris had to back back, and it looks like he's run bang straight into the fence. The ball spills. Harrow's hurt, so he can't get up. He hit his head, head on the fence. Head shoulder into the fence. And it was it was a valiant effort to get a glove up, sort of lunging at it, but right at that point of falling into the uh, fence. Uh, luckily, I would say, he didn't hit the, the poles between the chain link. He looked like he hit the, the sweet spot of the chain link. Well, not, Bill, not taking anything away from that, but that was, uh, it's got to hurt. But he looks like he's staying in. Well, Bill, uh, ACT go to a 10-run lead now with that four-base hit. Wow. As yeah. we, we're just getting another look on our replay okay, screen yeah. of, of him hitting his head. He's decided to stay out. He's holding his neck as we can see it. Tenth batter of the inning. Yeah. And for the second time, Matthew Wickham to the plate in this inning. He started this inning off with a single to center field and he aggressively did. gets after yeah. it. Well, I, I just, again, uh, credit to Harris there. Uh, center field was still a long way for over from covering, but he got to his feet, flipped that ball up to him to have him throw it in, and then took his uh, took a knee just to finish the playoff. It would have been a highlight reel catch had he come up with it. Well, what this does, Bill, is it puts us in run rule territory now yeah. with ACT just three outs away from a grand final appearance. All WA need to make this third out and score one run to keep the ball game going. Yes. Three, 
Wickham aggressive at the start of the at bat and has become watchful. Strikeout and a single so far in this game. And that one's hit long to right. It's in the shed. <laughs> well, our man Rue Weaver and John Paturis, who've been doing the grounds all week, have a great spot to watch the game from in the shade in the shed. And they were in the firing line of a Matt Wickham missile. It was a half a swing. He went with it to the opposite field and... He gets four bases, so it's now 11-run lead. Yeah, wow. I mean, uh, that, uh, that's a long ball hit out to right field. We don't see many go out that way here. Wind makes no difference to these guys. They hit it, it goes. And to watch it disappear into the shed there, well, that's, that's a big shot. Jared Bradbury now for the second time has two hits in the ball game. It kind of opens the door to ATC now. They can just have their swings and uh, have fun, uh, so to speak, and put the ball in play. Uh, you know, Duncan's just trying to go after him, and hopefully they can get an out to end this inning. Well, Bill, you're the national champion head coach of the SA Stars from 2022. You've got Adam Folkard on a 39-degree day. Are you putting him on ice, and you're going to... Uh, you know, Jay Silu, yeah. who who's won a pitching award before, or do you go to your, your, your Czechia import? Most you know, definitely. Sicker? Most definitely. I, I think you bring Adam out and you've got him fresh for you because they got to play another one after this and they got to have every one of their, uh, their guys ready to go. Put him on ice? Put him on ice. Yeah. Silu, yeah, whether they bring the uh, Gonzalez in. Uh, I haven't seen Gonzalez pitch this uh, tournament. I know he has, but I haven't seen it. And Mabry that's gets hit there. high. Harris is out there. Makes the catch. Makes the catch. Well done. A fly to seven for the third out. It's been a long time coming because the ACT have put on half a dozen hits. Nine, 10, 11. 11 batters to the plate in that inning. Eight runs scored and a commanding 11 nil lead. Folkart is coming out. So ACT with the foot on the throat, not looking to wow. give an inch to this WA side. ACT do have a couple of changes. I can see that Kyle Johnson's going out to right field. Well, all I can think here is, look, if it's the fourth inning, if he can have a quick inning here for full card and they can get back out there on the bats and score the runs they need for the run rule. Well, that they've got them. They've the got the fourth, them now. All for one inning. Ten. That's right. So they have to close it out here. Well, the fourth, the fourth inning. Yes, ten. Top of yep. the fourth. Yep. So that's all I can see now is that they just want to make sure that's done. I mean, I, I don't know uh, full call personally, but he probably looks like a guy that uh, probably rather be throwing than sitting anyway. You know, probably wants the ball. Well, if he's feeling it, you know, yep. and he and he is obviously he is, he's thrown yeah. seven strikeouts from the eleven batters faced. Yep. Uh, could be in contention for the Eastern Player of the Game. Oh, absolutely! How, how many strikeouts? Uh, you seven said? from eleven batters. Seven from eleven. Uh, otherwise, you turn the card over and you have a look at uh, two hits to Wickham, two hits to Bradbury, two hits to Lowe, two hits to Lynch, two hits to Gonzalez. A hit, a sacrifice fly, and a walk to Harrow. You know, the contribution's yeah. gone one through nine. Yeah, it's big. Matt ha Matt Harris. Mark Harris uh, yeah. is not going to die wondering. He has come yep. up to bat with his sore head or shoulder yep. from running into the fence in the previous inning. Swings hard at the first pitch. This one's in there low, but called strike. Inside and strikeout swinging for Harris. Eighth strikeout of the ball game. Well, I uh, might call if uh, Folkard strikes out the side here, uh, you got to give it to him as player of the game. He really has kept WA from even having a sniff uh, from that first double. That's the only real sign of life that they had. 
And ever since that, two ground outs it's and the rest have all been strikeout victims, yeah. yeah. Lights out, Bill, you've absolutely nailed it. Lights out. <laughs> Setting up away again, lays off it. Uh, he hits hard on Wickham, uh, he gets a lot of balls in play. Um, he sh has a strikeout in this. Uh, last night uh, against us, uh, yesterday he battled very hard, always fouling balls off. I think he had about a good uh, nine pitch at bat mm. at one point. Uh, his hit chart is extensive. There's everything in play. So for... Uh, and there you go. This, and it gets over the head of Bradbury for a single second hit of the ball game for the Western Australian team. Well, maybe a little bit of life. A little bit of life. Like I said, the guy, he's the guy to do it. He uh, does put the ball in play and uh, rewarding to come up with a, a hit there to left field. Now, this was the matchup that uh, the lefty that... Uh, Folkard had some trouble with, and yeah. there you go again. First pitch, and they're going first to third. They are not dying out here. Yeah, easily. Beckett with some great wheels to go <laughs> one to three. Garner drills the ball opposite field, beats the shortstop. First, Two runners on. First pitch swinging. Well done. I was just going to say the matchup of uh, Folkard couldn't throw that, uh, that outside rise, that outside edge, because the lefty, it's coming into him. So he had the change, and uh, Garner, good piece of hitting. Jack Burt, our bruised and battered catcher for WA. A chance with runners on the corners. Is up that one. Yeah, Burt already yeah. with that. Uh, batting adjustment up the handle a little bit was a bit more control on his swing against the Folkhard missiles that he's throwing down. This one just gets away from McGovern. Yeah. The runner from one advances to two. The runner at three, Beckett, decides better of it. He did think. He did consider going. You know, it would be tempting to get that first run for WA right there, but you don't want to run yourself out of an inning. You know, uh, you're not chasing one run here. You're chasing a lot. They need these two runners to continue the game at least. Called strike and hard down and in on Burt. One and two to Burt. What's he got for him this time? Sets up away again. And just misses the outside edge. I think he wanted that call. Well, he's given up two hits in this inning, yeah. Folkard, so be desperate to arrest the momentum that Western Australia have to shut him down now. Yeah. And maybe even get a little bit of a break between this game, this game and the grand final. This and one is a pop up to center field. Center. It's in front. Almost a decoy there that he didn't have it. And that scores the first run on a sack fly. Yeah, he took it interestingly, like didn't he? Uh, Jeremy Bradbury out at center field. May have misread it slightly as he had to make a charge for it and take yeah. the, the ball underhand. Because I thought initially, I knew it wasn't hit deep. I thought it might fall in. And then he made the jump like, oh, uh, I got this easy. Uh, but and then the throws halfway down yeah, the line yeah. as well. So he, he, he let the blood. So if he was trying to hang back to get momentum home, he, uh, he left it a little late because he did have to catch it down here by his hip, which is not a great spot. But, uh, well, WA's on the board. They got themselves their run. And Jack yeah, Bird's got an RBI. Yeah, they get the first run and uh, now they're one away from continuing the game that run is still in scoring position we've got to change josh kavanaugh's come out of the game and ben fox okay. comes up he's a hard-hitting lefty protects the zone so well i think uh and it pays off and gets past their field 
Gardner didn't see it, went back to third, and now trots home easily. Pinch hit, RBI, yeah. single with a might not, He might not base. get credit the RBI. Might be an error on the center fielder because the run did hold up. Uh, that's valid. That's a good call there, James, because he wasn't running all the way. I was just about to say, going to the lefty there in that situation might have been the great strategy because that's been the only guy that Folkard seems to have had trouble with other than the uh, leadoff batter, uh, Francis. Uh, it takes that pitch that's been so successful for him today out of play. They do have another lefty in the lineup, Sam Beatles. Yeah. So Garner scores on that one. They've got two. Goes curve. But two on out. rackage. So uh, one run now from... Uh, no, no, they've, no, they've, they've got now, it. They they've are now, going. They will now at least right. make ACT bat again. All right. Rakic looking to continue this inning. This one's a high down ball for a course right. That high down ball really freezes the batter because they see it coming up. Yeah. Their knees buckle and then it drops into the zone. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do anything about it unless you pick that spin early. Well, uh, their decision to stay with Folkart to uh, close it out. Check swing goes to Wickham at first base and makes the force out. So ACT are one run away from closing out this game. WA have not gone away without a fight. They're forcing ACT to score that extra run. They've scored one themselves, WA. Folkard's got eight strikeouts on the day. He's given up four hits, three of them coming mm. in that fourth inning. Like I said, I, I was predicting that if he got that one, two, three inning, uh, I, he's my player of the game, but uh, might have just left him a little long and gave, uh, gave him a sniff. Well, as we turn the card over, maybe we can find a player of the day from the offensive side of things with uh, an honourable mention to the pitcher. The eight strikeouts in four yeah. innings is still a hell of a it's all, day's yeah. work for Adam Folkart and or a morning's work, I should morning's say. Morning's work. <laughs> and all likelihood picks up the win, and I don't want to jinx anybody there by saying that, but, uh, you know, this is looking... Uh, uh, it's just taking an extra at bat for uh, uh, ACT. We'll have to see what they come up with there. So well, yeah, uh, WA has made a couple of changes. We, we mentioned that yep. other lefty they've got in the lineup. Sam Bettles has gone out to right field. Okay. okay. Yeah. A couple, actually, Simple a couple of changes. Uh, Harris has come out of the game. All right. And ben Joseph Fox Scaramella has Fox. gone out to left field, and and Bettles has gone out to right field in place of Kyle Francis. So WA ringing the changes, giving all their players a go. Uh, McLean Lowe leads us off. Has two hits in the ball game. Younger uh, brother of Man no, Mountain. No, 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 no. He's the older brother. Oh, he's the older brother. <laughs> oh, jeez. The younger brother is the Man Mountain. Okay. I, I think Boston's 21. 20, yeah, actually, 22. you're right. You're right, because he did say he was here in 2019 for the under-17 boys. Yeah. Uh, and we did the math on that, figuring about 21, 22. Yep. I see. Yep, Macca with two hits. He's the little brother, but he's the older brother. Okay. Well, I'm in the same boat. I'm the uh, older brother of my bigger, younger brother. So as I call him, my big, my big, younger, big, big little brother. Duncan choosing off speed to start off this at bat against McLean Low. And just shout out to uh, John Benedictson if he... Uh, by any means is watching this, but uh, be pretty early, maybe in, uh, or late at night, I'd say. Maybe this uh, off. maybe Mum can pass that message on. Yeah, Mac a little battling here. He's made a lot of contact uh, in this game. Two singles, fouling balls off. Low wants time. Some pesky flies. Around here today. Checked his swing. High for a ball and a check swing from low. They're not even going to check. He no. held his hands back.
11 hits so far for the ACT. We're only in the bottom of the fourth. A strikeout looking. That McLean Low is Duncan's first strikeout victim. Jay Seelu's due up, but this is Jeremy Bradbury. He came in in the defensive inning. Yep. And the ACT changes were actually uh, Jeremy Bradbury came in for Jay Seelu, and then it was an eight to three, three to eight. And Wiccan came into first with Bradbury out to centre. Well done. Pitch swing. Well, the beauty of a, uh, a big lead like this for ACT, you can come out and you can have your hacks at your pitches, or you can be as selective as you want. Yeah. Well, nice pitching from Duncan. Last mm -hmm. inning, it took him a little bit of time to settle, similar to our game yesterday, and then he's just got into a groove all of a sudden and. Retired his last two, and he's ahead here against Bradbury yep. as he goes upstairs. Sometimes you have an inning like that when you come in late and uh, the team is uh, getting to uh, the previous pitcher. They just keep snowballing. They keep rolling with that. You know, hitting is contagious. You know, you probably heard that. One guy gets a hit, next guy gets a hit. So uh, yeah, he did well to close it out. But, yeah, he's pitching with a good groove now. Nice pitching from Duncan to go back to back strikeouts to start the fifth inning. Oh. So Kyle Johnson came in for Ben Slater last defensive inning and he's coming up for his first plate appearance. Now I got to go to the weather app here because uh, I've got no no shade from this umbrella that you've rigged for yourself here and uh, it's filling every bit of the 32 degrees I'm being 33 degrees at West Beach the wind no wind not where we are anyway uh, normally in our broadcast position <laughs> we're in the shade a little bit of side breeze hoodies and... on <laughs> yeah but uh, not today Well, Duncan in a groove at the moment. As I say that, he sprays one wild. And just, just so they don't think he has too much control, let's put one a little bit wild. <sighs> Two strikes here now to uh, up. Yeah, try to change a pace, but yep. didn't have a handle on it. <laughs> this is Kyle, right? Kyle Johnson, yes. Kyle Johnson yep. in the home half of the fourth inning. 2-2 two -two count to Johnson. Two out. Nobody on. <laughs> WA gets his strike out. They get to bat again. Anything can happen, and I'll be interested to see if they send full card back out or they go by committee. Ground ball with a bit of spin towards second, and it gets through Kurt Barberich. Had a little bit of spin on it. I mean, yeah, uh, they're always tough to field, opposite field, yep. off the end of the bat. You could see that one was uh, it. Not kicking, but had a lot of side spin on it and just... Well, it took him to his left side, his glove side. Yeah. And the spin on the ball, he's just overrun it slightly. Yeah. He'll get credited an error and Kyle Johnson's aboard, but that's a tough play to make. It is. He is fielding a step up the middle as well, so it's a bit further away than a regulation mm -hmm. second base. And <clears throat> it went ACT's way. Here's Lynch. Lays off that one. Oh, 
Lynch with two hits in this game. Let me guess, were they to left side? Both to the left side and he pulls this one. It was inside and goes foul. It was jammed a little. And of the 11 hits that the ACT have, multiple hitters with two in the game so far, mm. including Lynch, but no one has three. No one has three. Upstairs and fouls it off to the right side. It just kind of stays with that one and sprays it down that first base side. And pulls it hard to the left side and into foul territory. ACT will turn it round to the top of the order if Lynch can get on base. Good at bat by Lynch. Fouling balls to all areas of the non-playing surface. Straight back, right side, left side. Can he put one up the middle and keep the inning alive? Strikeout looking. So Duncan with three strikeouts in the inning. Only blemish was the error from second base. So great inning from WA. They were three outs away from, from losing in four. They're going to force it into yep. a fifth. Put a little rally together last time. They're actually two outs away before the sacrifice uh, fly. Right. Yep. And then, so we should it was see Fox, the, the uh, pinch hitter that came up with the other Correct. hit. So it was, uh, yeah, they, they were one out away from being beaten in in four innings, and now they've taken it to a fifth. Yep. Adam Folkard will continue in the preliminary final final of the fortieth. John Reed Shield. Well, well, maybe it had something to do with the uh, the semifinal last night, and uh, New South Wales. Uh, it got to Falkard a little bit, uh, scored some runs against them. Uh, maybe their strategy is to uh, use them here and maybe use them uh, from the bench in uh, in game two. You know, maybe change it up against New South. If, I mean, I'm assuming you know they they get through and they move on and uh, they will be in that grand final against uh, New South Wales. Well, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. a semi-professional softballer. He he yeah. uh, is a contracted player in North America and. A uh, highly sought after pitcher. Yeah. Uh, you would say that he's got the conditioning he can do the to work, throw yeah. all day if required. Okay. All right. First pitch swinging. Gonzalez makes a good play up the middle. That was a pinch hit. Brian Kirkup. Oh, is that, that was okay. Kirkup. Brian Kirkup came in for Brendan Lamb and the nine hitter. Is Kurt Barbridge. There's one out, and now they're back, aren't they, into that uh, unenviable position, two outs away from mm. being knocked out. The, the job for them here, though, is a little bit more difficult. They've got to get within seven. Yes. So they need three in this inning to keep it going. <laughs> Good hard swing there by Barbridge. WA looking to their uh, nine batter to keep things alive here. Just anything to get on. Nubs that one foul. Handled easily by the third base coach at WA. New South Wales await the winner of this game. 1 p.m. local time grand final. Volkart still throwing gas, still coming right after the batters. And strike three swings through it. Got him with the gas. I know we didn't have uh, radar on that one, but I would think that was about as hard as he was throwing. That was a hot pitch there, 120th. Ninth strikeout of the game for Adam Volkart. 
And we go back to the top of the order, but there was a change. This is Sam Bettles, the lefty. The matchup that you like, Bill. <laughs> yes, I do like the lefty matchup there. Bettles swinging for the fence on diamond two with that cut. And quickly, 0 oh and 2. He, he's gone the battles. He's gone the high inside, low outside, 1 2 punch here at Folkard. So, yeah. where is this the one going to be? Swing and a miss, and that will do it. ACT with Adam Folkard's 10th strikeout of the game will advance through to the John Reed Shield grand final, 1 p.m. local time. Pretty convincing, Bill. Oh, very convincing there. You know, a little bit of a hiccup there, and uh, and credit the WA showing some fight to get a couple runs and keep it going. But uh, uh, w, uh, ACT, obviously, a better team today. Yeah, great point, Bill. WA not going down without a fight. They managed to pick up three hits and two runs in that fourth inning, but yep. all to no avail as Adam Folkard dominated with 10 strikeouts in five innings of work and hits all through the ACT lineup. Uh, from one through nine, so a complete team performance, you'd say. Yeah, you'd almost give that game as team batting for the award there. I mean, I mean, you like Falcourt, you know, 10 strikeouts is, uh, is phenomenal effort, really kept them at bay. You know, Gonzalez with the uh, inside the park home run and a single, uh, Wickham with a, a single in the home run. Hard well, to pick. Let's wrap things up here oh, yeah. from West Beach in South Australia. The preliminary final has been run and won from the ACT. They advanced through to the John Reed Shield final and they'll face their nemesis, New South Wales, at 1pm local. We'll see you in about 90 minutes.